day, guys. Welcome to Adelaide Footy Pub Talk. My name is Bray Raffinelli. I'm your host, and next to me, Tony Neal. How Thank are you, you very mate? much. Thank you very much, Bray. I'm looking forward to this one, Division Three. Yes, it's that time of the year. So, host, how are you, mate? Well, oh, we're going to have a drag this man behind, away from the keyboard. So, what a what a pleasure it is, viewers at home. So, I don't know about that. Ah, <laughs> he's, he's got the eye on host. So, he's a lady killer. So, hello, Bray. <laughs> we're talking all things. A3 here guys, so we're the preliminary final on Saturday. Um, old Higgies took on Flinders Park. Too Mild strong. Bomb. Yeah, so playing at the uh, play at Park 25 there, I thought they were going to play at, is that Car Rolling or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Saka uh, had trial matches on, so they couldn't. Probably the best deck in Adelaide, you'd say, Car Rolling. Yeah, beautiful, yeah, yeah. beautiful yeah. oval. Yeah. But uh, Old Higgies, too good for Flinders Park, so yeah. uh, Darcy Slob as well, so 7 goal, 12.54. Defeated Flinders Park 5 goal 9 39. So, it's only thoughts. Yeah, 19, 19 shots to uh, 14, but interesting. Uh, five, five extra shots for points and uh, four extra shots for points. So, inaccuracy. Um, I'll be honest, uh, coming up against Glenunga this week, and we'll cover that a little bit later yep. on. So, geez, have you got your work cut out for you this week, fair dink and old Iggy's. But look, stranger things have happened. Glenunga need to be on their toes, and I can say it, winning form is good form, but although Glenunga are there, so, no, nah, it's a good win in the end. What was it, uh, 40, 24, 25 points in the end, so, uh, and I reckon they were in front uh, most of the day, yeah, were Yeah, left letter every change. Park, yeah. It was a four goal second quarter, and um, that sort of put them away, really. Yeah, and they never really, Flinders Park never bridged that gap, did they? So, uh, and it, uh, indicative of uh, where they finished on the ladder. Yeah. First, second and third. That's uh, the, the two top teams are going to be playing off now. And uh, who was it? Uh, well, they've, they've, uh, they have lost three this uh, this season, Glenunga. Yeah, beatable. And Old Iggy's have only lost five, so uh, two games difference in it. So yeah, very who tight. knows on their day. Very yeah. tight division between uh, fifth and first. So. I reckon 22 degrees on Saturday here. Oh, that's it's fine. Yeah, about, uh, about 20, I think it's in the early 20s all week. Yeah. So the decks will have dried out by Saturday. So they'll make it 22. Possibly. Decks, but, the yeah. decks certainly will have dried out by Saturday. So where, where's that going to be played? That's the other thing. We'll come to that in a moment. Yeah, I reckon yeah. it'll be at Richmond from memory. It'll be yeah. Richmond okay. or Thebin, one, yeah. one of the two. So. It wouldn't be at Thebin, I would have thought the Division 2 final would be at Thebin. It might be at Richmond then. That's a bit yeah. of memory. It might be at Richmond. So. Yeah, so for old years, goal kids were the muscle car Ferrari, three goals. <laughs> Nick Burstead, Santara, Boots and Manson all with singles. Best player for it. Old Nash was Hey Connolly, Earl Camazotto, the, the muscle man Ferrari, Wilson, E. Shaw, Nick Burstead, the best players too. It, it, is, it is at Richmond. Yep. It is. Not there sure. we go. There we go. So Flinders Park goal kickers, uh, L. Armand, C. Miller, L. Fairall, T. Starkey Trelaw, and the best players, A. Lordotto, L. Ferrell, L. Smith, S. Yaniku, and M. Thompson. Yes, yeah, so ever since he came on the show, Tomani has been in some really good form down in this park, so yeah, the best best team man he was, uh, was the Joe guy, and he's, he's back to back to back best team man of the So park, we were so. the reason he's lifted his game out there, really. Yeah, see, we're, we're known to lift people with the army hose, we're about break build, break build, aren't we? So, to get them into the grand final, this is going to be uh, a a cracking game, I think. Um, Glunga take on Old Ignatius. So, Glunga have gone from pretty much nearly 6 5 4 3 yeah, uh, and then to 2 next year. I think the last time it was done was Polton, but it was in the lower grade, like 7 6 5. Well, Kilburn went did the, did the few, didn't they? Not, not three divisions like this. So, A5, A4, A3, and yeah, you're sitting yeah, on top. Yeah, A2. Yeah. Well, they're, they're huge, going there. Yeah. I'm just saying, looking at uh, you know, other the that? grand final, Can but they yeah, they're already in A2, aren't they? Can they? Yeah. Oh, I think the, I think they will win, um, but not without being pushed like, the whole way. I think it's going to be like a, a one or two goal game. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think the dry day helps them. Oh, yeah. oh, they're stacked with talent, aren't they? Well, and they're stacked for the height because yeah, I'm still with say, the, you've yeah. got the brasser, you've got Holly, you've got your Wankies, you've got McMahons, you've got your, all your big boys up there. There's four or five guys who can really take a catch. Yeah. And um, and they're athletes. A lot of these blokes can run. Yeah, they run. They've got a great centre half back with one kid. Yeah. Um, Manning did a great job last year at fullback on yeah, man, uh, yep. on um, Clark Rantasa from Jackson Cross. That's right, yeah. yeah. He's got big good form in grand finals. 
Um, I still think their back half's the Achilles heel, but their yeah, forward yeah. half is really strong. Well, there you go, Iggy's get the ball in your forward half, and you might be half a chance. Well, whenever, whenever, whenever you're not, yeah. quarter. whenever you're underdog, you'd want the rain, you pray for rain, don't you, when you're the underdog, I'll but probably, they're not going to get it, are they? I'd probably also worry a little bit about their midfield, because not a lot of rotations in there, and on a big over on Richmond, I think you need probably a lot of rotations. Andy Reid's still getting around in the midfield? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they have a few, but they don't have a lot of rotations from what I've seen. Okay. So, well, I haven't seen Iggy's this year. Uh, but I've spoken to their coach several times. But uh, Green a very, very good. Green very, very strong. Around, yeah. And yeah. he's the type of bloke he'll get. The orange meatball. Yeah, he'll, yeah. Get a, he'll get a lot of stoppage. So that's time. interesting. I, look, on, on paper, on quality of the team, uh, in regards to the players they've got, I would look at Granada for sure. Not knowing a lot about old Iggy's, but oh, it's going to be a, a very close game, I would say. Very, very, very close game. Names don't win your grandfather, do they? No, names don't win your grandfather. Yeah, exactly that's it. Right. So, yeah, I think there's a panel, I think we're all tipping the manga, but... Mm. No, I'm actually not. You're not? Hose. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Look look yeah, you're one of the biggest fans at the this year. You've been a big sponsor down there. I, I actually believe that uh, the Ford setup of Granunga is really, really good. But I'm really worried about their lack of rotation on a, big, on a big over, such as no, like Richmond is being on Achilles Hill. So and you midfield, yeah, they midfields uh, tend to win a game in finals. Warmer day. Uh, warmer day, and I'm also a bit worried about their back half a little bit. Okay, so, well, but, there you have it, ladies but, and gentlemen. Yeah. But their forward set up is as good as some division yep. one sides. You've got to get it down there, though, don't you? If the yeah. midfield's and not cracking in. If the old nations have to stop their blind, this is the best part of the comp. Yeah. I know we didn't win the medal, but that doesn't mean much. Doesn't much. mean nothing, yeah. McMahon's clearly the best part of the comp. With due respect for the uh, medal winner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If anyone's seen McMahon play, he's just yeah. a duck, you know, like. But too many guys stealing votes on each other in that team, though. A lot of. A lot of individual brilliance there, the Columbia team. Oh, there is, but McMahon's that good, it's not fun. So I have a theory on this. Uh, worked with clubs that won premierships on this. Vanunga are very tall. Yep. Speed be tight, I tell you so. Now, if you were in Vanunga, you say light beat speed. So speed be tight, punch and run. Try um, day, try day, you think that... Punch and run, get the ball down in your forward. I'm still worried about their midfield rotations on a, on a warmish day, mm. on a bigger over. Over. Well, we wait and see for this one, won't we? Saturday yeah, night. This we'll, will be we'll, the. We'll revisit that one, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's just. I, I think that yeah. these days you've got to have eight and nine guys running through exactly the right. field. Exactly right. You do a six-man rotation a lot of times. Yeah. I don't think you can get away with the six six-man rotation. Well, yeah, there's there's a few connotations to that. You can have the cream of the crop four and four that you just keep changing. Yep. Or you can have your... You get very, very tired though playing the, or, the game up and down the field. Though, or you can have your creamy crop, but if things don't go your way, you need the grunters. So your grunters Correct. are your body players that will open up pathways for other players. It needs to be um, an igniter in there, in there yeah. as well. Well, you have to keep your good so, player and shoot in the middle of the ground. That includes your wings. And most sides now might start with... And that's a lot of running, Luke. With three on the, on the wings. Yeah. With, with, with they'll they'll rotate two. three on the wing. Yep. And they'll run you know, seven and eight and nine guys through the midfield. And remember, they don't do that. Yeah. And that's what I worry about on a Mr. dry, on a dry day. Well, old Iggy's over. You're tuning in. That's the way to beat the Nungo. Well, 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 no, well, it's not. We had a look at Ob's it. Yeah. It's only at observations. And, and uh, it might be totally wrong. And, uh, but they have got the big man height. But they've got the big man height to kick a real bad Glenunga. They've got huge, huge mm. uh, capacity. Right? But as we say, you've got to get the ball there. If the ball's getting thrown in on the it, wing it is, or half that flank, you've got to get the ball the down there. It's late in yep. the game. And if you look at Glenunga, if you have a look at their their scores, the opposition tend to score a lot of goals in the third and fourth quarter. You've done your homework. Have you been uh, ringing up the old Iggy's coach? If there's, if, there's, if, there's, if there's been any clubs wow. for a coach, here's your man yeah. here. He's building off his own. I did it for 20 years in the system, but I'm just saying oh, I think that... Just if you're wondering viewers at home. No, but I'm not going to be doing it anyway. Uh, but the fact is that I just think that, yeah, if you have a look, they have a lot of goals scored on them late in the game. Yeah, and that, interesting. That, that bit worries me on our warm day when it's... Yep. Dry, no rotations. Or, well, limited rotations. And how do they go under pressure? That's the other thing oh, too. Are they front oh. runners or if they get behind, can they come back and oh, win games? Oh. You know, so yeah, this will be interesting. So, interesting, but that's just... But if they're allowed to get the ball up forward to their 
your big forwards and, and get good service through the midfield, they will they can win. But I, I, that's what worries me is their rotation. The other thing to remember for everyone out there, Division 3, you're up with the big boys now. It's not Division 5 where you've got four or five good players and it might drop away with all due respect or whatever. Yeah. You're, you're talking quality players that have come out of the sample, um, played in other leagues, whatever it is. You, you might have 15, 16 top-line players or you might have 21, 22 and five blokes in the beat grade. You know, crying their eyes out because they're not getting the game. It's a, uh, it's a lot tougher. The higher yeah. level we go, uh, the quality of these teams. And this is a grand final. The two teams in the grand final. This, these are belters of games. Oh these yeah, are really good yeah. quality football. Yeah, there's a reason why AFL clubs have eight, nine, and ten guys running for the midfield. Yep, correct. Yep. You know, and it doesn't. There's a very good reason for it. And um, you know, when clubs don't do that, um, I just. I just and I reckon uh, someone from Glenunga's just texted you then and blown up your letterbox, or yes. someone from, uh, from Old Iggy's has been down there and left you, or someone from Old Iggy's been down and left your carton. It's One of the two, Luke. <laughs> I'll be checking that pretty quickly. We're not here for cash for comments. No, so, no. Um, you know, we give our honest opinion and whether or not we're right or wrong. Yep. And so, Oh, get out, mate. No, we don't need you now. That's an old thing. Yeah, yeah. The team yeah. bus has just turned up. Is no, we here, don't need you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no extra no. comments in our stuff. So. Say. Um, All right, so, so yeah, um, we'll we'll quick re recap of the year, of the um, A3 year. So, Lunga were 15 wins and 3 losses sitting on top. Old Iggy's were 13 wins, 5 losses. Flinders Park. Flinders Park. Okay. Yeah, they've always yeah. been different. They're, just, they're probably lacking one or two marquee players there. 12 wins and 5 losses. North Haven, who were, who were very good this year. First year in, back in A3? No, they've been there. I mean, no, no, they were there last year. They actually finished minor premiers and went up straight sets. Yeah. Mm. That's right. And this year, yeah. probably underachieved by finishing fifth. And uh, next year, I know they're going to have a new coach. I know Tyle stepped down after doing a great job. Yeah, I think I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Tyle's, okay. Tyle stepped down after doing a great job. You know, got him that elusive premiership. Yep. He's Thanks decided that he's going to stand down, so they're on the on the lookout for a new coach. Good club, not um, David. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard a few whispers who might be going oh, well, to take over. All right. And, uh, <laughs> and if Breaking I'm, news here. And if I'm right, he might have no initials MM after his name. There it's he bit, is. It's a little bit cryptic. The email. Well, out of the new idea. Anyway, continue might on. Have, might, have, might have the letters MM after his name. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, Golden Gry finished next with 11 wins and 6 losses. Portland, probably one of the other underachievers. Um, 9 wins and 8 losses. Westminster. And, and have lost Lindsay Thomas playing at Yankalula next year. Bang. There, well, there yeah. you go. You heard that one okay. first. Uh, West, one? Westminster, 8 wins, 10 losses, and then... Linton with five wins, twelve losses, and then Morf the guys moving down. Morford Park two wins and sixteen losses, and Jets Cross one win and seventeen losses. So I know, I know the Morfield Park both, both their B grades have been struggling with them belts, not scoring. Um, so I do need to reset, get some depth back in their club, um, and consolidate hopefully in the A4 next year. I wouldn't expect Jeff's boss to stay down too long. No, uh, I wouldn't have thought so. Very proud club. Who, For an know, A1, not that strong. long ago. Well, they, they came up this year yep. and straight back down again. And there, there's the difference. The bookends, Glenunga, sitting on top. Two teams played in the Division Lower Grand Final last year. I'll tell you the big move and shaker. Uh, very strong in this. Golden Grove, very yeah, yeah. well coached. They're strong. Their under-18s won, I reckon it was the Division 1 under-18 Grand Final yep. the other day. I reckon they won that. They've yep. got youth pushing up. They're, they're a good, strong well, club they're there. Yeah, they're not building an E grade. Yeah, um, they've, got they've got five got, teams. They've got all those people out there yep. too. They've got the biggest junior program member. No wonder why they're poor over there's so many grass on it. There's too many yeah. people on it. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think Golden Grove Gullies and Glenunga have got the biggest junior Genius in the state. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really going places, Golden Grove. Have they been high? Is this uncharted territory? Because uh, no, they're not they that actually, old a club. They, uh, they were up there a few years ago. Were they? Yeah. yeah. They well, they were in one heading back and, then. Uh, oh, yeah. really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. But, yeah, no, I think uh, Golden Grove, uh, I think Flinders Park, who well, I think next year, they do get those couple more guys in. They want to get that depth, that, that B grade's top, a C grade in grand final. So they've been around the mark for a long time for this part. They always do yes. between the three and two forever in a day so you know I can see Flinders Park North Haven Golden Grove all going pretty well I can see Portland bottoming, bottoming out 
I can see Portland going down next year. So, um, sorry all the Portland guys. Uh, Brad Dittmar, sorry in advance, mate. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be a dad dits too. So. Yeah, great man. So, that. Um, well, thank you for joining us um, in Division Three, and uh, tune in next episode. Cheers. Cheers.